So it's 2025 and you are using Webflow. That's awesome, but Webflow is not the same as it was just a few short years ago. With the rise of all sorts of different AI tools, building in Webflow has taken a massive leap. And guess what? If you don't wanna get left behind, you are gonna to need to make sure that you are using these tools as well. So in this video, I really simply wanted to cover three ways to change your Webflow game right now using AI tools. Let's get right into it. You're gonna to wanna to stick around for number three because if you haven't used it yet, it is going to change your life. First things first, the Webflow MCP. And that sounds super fancy, but all an MCP is, is it allows AI to actually take actions on behalf of you. So instead of AI telling you something and you doing it, with the MCP, AI can actually do things for you. Now, can AI go ahead and design and develop your entire site? No, but number three can do that, so stick around. That being said, there are a lot of things that you can actually do with the Webflow MCP. My personal favorite is to set up the entire CMS structure. So every site that I've worked on pretty much has a blog post, a team members, a FAQs, and just a couple of things that are always there. And having been using Webflow for seven plus years, I'm pretty bored at this point of building those things. So that's where the Webflow MCP comes in. I can simply connect it to cursor, Claude code, whatever I may want to, and say set up my CMS structure for a blog post, for team members, and for whatever else. It will do that all for me without me having to touch Webflow. And then I can even say generate me a couple of placeholders and it will do that. Now you can also have it actually generate your items for you. You can say write me a blog post about cats, write me a blog post about dogs, you can do that. That being said, using AI to generate content is a little bit of a tricky game. Google knows what you're doing. So the name of the game, the key here is to just make sure you use AI to help you, not to create content for you. So Webflow MCP is super cool. If you wanna know more about it, go to the link in the description where I actually have a video where I try it out for the first time. And what we have for number two is Webflow Cloud. So. If you're not familiar with Webflow Cloud, all it does is it allows you to have some sort of custom built web app, some sort of code hosted behind your Webflow site. So if you take a look at Memberstack, for example, Memberstack has memberstack.com, which is a marketing site. And then we have app.memberstack.com, which is where our app lives. And that is on a subdomain because it has to be on a subdomain until now. Thanks to Webflow Cloud, you can actually build anything like a web app, like our Memberstack web app, and host it under your Webflow site on, say, memberstack.com slash app. Now, that sounds super cool and all, but where does AI come into play here? Vibe coding. If you're not familiar with the term, then you may have been living under a rock. Vibe coding, as silly as it sounds, is essentially the most commonly used term now to describe the fact that we can have AI generate code for us based on simple inputs or vibes, as you wanna call it. So what you can do is get your vibe coding game on, build a web app, and then host it under your Webflow site. So let's say you come up with an idea, for example, for a mortgage calculator. You can build the site, the blog, all of that stuff in Webflow as you're used to, and then you can vibe code the app itself and host it under your Webflow site which is super cool. If you don't know about Webflow Cloud, go to the link in the description. I have a video going from zero to launched Webflow Cloud project in just a couple of short minutes. Along with that, when it comes to tools for vibe coding, the most commonly used one is probably Cursor, which is an amazing tool. I personally love to use Claude Code. So we've come to number three, and if you stuck around this long, then thank you very much. You are about to get rewarded. Now, you may already know about this tool. In fact, you might have used it because it's been around for a while and it's been huge in the Webflow space. And of course, by that, I mean Reloom. Reloom is honestly the best, in my opinion, way to build a Webflow site. Period. It was built by a Webflow agency and you can tell because Reloom doesn't just generate some AI slop for you. Reloom gives you all of the control. First, you start out with a simple prompt. You say, I wanna make a site for my flight school. It's then gonna generate a simple site map, just saying what the pages are gonna be and what kind of sections you are going to have. 
Then you can go ahead, tweak that, change anything you want to. Then you move on to wireframes. And then you get a whole bunch of beautiful sections inputted in the place where your sitemap was before. Then let's say you don't like some of these sections. You can go ahead and change them out and select from any of Reloom's amazing built sections. Then once you're happy with the wireframes, you move on to style guide, where you can select the styles for your typography, your buttons, your cards, all of that. Then Reloom will magically, well, AI, it's not magic, but whatever, with AI, build all of that stuff for you. And you will be left with a site that has a perfect structure, a beautiful design, and with one click, you can import that entire thing into Webflow. Not only that, but it's built in perfect client first. Guys, I cannot possibly praise Reloom as a product highly enough. It is amazing. If you haven't used Reloom recently to do this whole AI site building flow, please stop what you're doing right now and try it. If you don't believe me, go to the link in the description because I have a video building an entire beautiful client first Webflow site in just 10 minutes using Reloom. So there are new Webflow and AI tools coming out pretty much every single day. This is by no means an exhaustive list. I just wanted to tell you some of the things that have changed my Webflow game and hopefully are gonna change yours too. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.